Welcome to On the Chain. Now, this is the one that this this is the one that got me going, Jeff. Right here, this is the one because this one is the most absurd comment ever. The current path proof of work is on is unsustainable and will be met with a climate wall. No, it won't. No, what does that even mean? I don't even know, but it's not going to be met with a climate wall. Now, Jeff, if you ever watch Game of Thrones, that the ice wall, that's one of the greatest uh, walls of all time. Like I figure like the ice wall is coming, you know, in the Game of Thrones, that giant wall. I just don't see, I don't even, what does it mean? It'll be met with, and first of all, the current path that it's on is sustainable because I guarantee you we'll get to 2042. All the Bitcoin will be, will be mined. And by that time, by the time everyone's lost their private keys and more cryptos lost, maybe it'll be 15 or 16 million total. And it'll be very, it'll be very scarce and very valuable. And at that point, no one's going to care how it was mined. No one's going to really be bothered by it. Chris Larson, maybe still. Exactly. Yeah, he's, he's bothered by it. Check out what uh, Grover Clark said. We miners were always promised code is law. Why else would we spend billions on equipment? Right. And that that's one comment. And then he said, you guys are right on. I love your show. So anyway, you know, this whole this whole idea that's it, yeah. Hang on a second. We're not even done with this thing. No, the, <laughs> this is the last thing I want. The crypto industry needs Bitcoin to continue to succeed. This industry is also one that embraces change. Why is acknowledging this fact so controversial? Uh, Jeff, you want to take a stab at why you think it's so controversial? Because I can. Well, yeah. So, you know, you know, I want to start off, you know, the controversy isn't so much that he's saying change because there have been forks of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. You know, if he wants to go and fork Bitcoin, go fork Bitcoin. <laughs> go make a better, go make a sustainable Bitcoin. You think was... it can be done? Go do it. You know, why, why just talk about it? He's just pontificating and he's singling it out when he's, you know, in, but he's all into this whole climate worship thing right now. And so he's talking about his climate walls. Um, man, it's just, Davidson's going to comment on this too. So. Well, Warren Davidson says, they're not going to do it voluntarily. Uh, Chris Larson, that, Chris Larson had said that they will not do it voluntarily, which means that. That's, what does that mean? Well, what it means is you'd have government. Remember, I shared that video with you earlier today. You can have government stepping in. Someone has to step in because people won't volunteer to do it, Bitcoiners. So some you can have regulation or the government or some. In other words, some other entity is going to make you do it. And that, in other words, we're willing to use force to impose our will on you. Huh. Likely accurate on both counts. They'll certainly try. This is why good governments defend freedom and free markets. Boom. Well said. Hmm. And, and then, and then Tony. <laughs> Good from point. thinking crypto, he says, I wasn't kidding when I said this was a bad move by Chris. Very bad optics for someone who has a huge stake in Ripple and XRP. His comments and funding an ad campaign with $5 million looks self-serving. Now Ripple's going to feel the brunt of this from a lot of folks. I, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely going to feel it from a lot of folks. And it's just, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, but there was another... There's another thread in here somewhere. Do, 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 where was it? Oh, okay, so here's another Warren Davidson one, by the way, and he took so much flack. But I cannot agree more with that last statement that he made. And this is why when you when you get beyond all the other other little nitpicky things, so somebody prefers a digital asset. Maybe it's Bitcoin. Maybe it's Ethereum. Maybe it's XRP. Maybe it's Solana. I don't know. Maybe it's XTC. There's, you spend this time all night. Bottom line is pro freedom, pro crypto, and pro, pro Jeff's laughing at the comments, yeah. pro markets. And this right here, Jeff, look at this one. Warren Davidson. We got. This is free market competition. The SEC has disrupted and distorted the market, especially with XRP, but competition is not what some are seeking. Hmm. Right? Interesting. Hmm. Kind of plays into that whole there can only be one. It can be one. Mm -hmm. One can get a jump start anyway. And he That's was commenting what he's saying there too. Yeah, he was yeah. commenting on this guy here, not your average Joe. You may be able to stop Bitcoin itself, but nothing is stopping it from falling out of the top 10 when nobody wants to deal with this prehistoric infrastructure. Once the leg leg legacy narrative is dead, it's over. And that's and that's the point. You know, I think the, the big point there is the free market. So if people don't want Bitcoin, they're not gonna buy Bitcoin. It's it's real simple. You know, it's it's strictly, you know, uh market so if the if the market is pushing towards bitcoin at a certain value it has a certain value if people 
determined that it doesn't have that value, they're going to stop buying it at that value. And that's, that's a, that's the, you know, primary issue, you know, as you look at what, you know, what's happening with Bitcoin, but the, but here overall, and we're not saying Bitcoin is the best. We're not, you know, we're reflecting on the fact that diversification, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with investing in Bitcoin. If that's a direction If proof, of, you know, everyone can, can, you know, make an argument that it's slow, it's expensive, it's tedious. It might not be the great solution that, you know, they originally uh, set out for it to be to replace all banking. But if it's a store of value, that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with that. Then go off and focus on the projects that are going to be better. And so if, it, you know, if it's going to be XRP and the XRPL, which we've discussed, you know, to infinitum, and we know that uh, the XRPL is probably one of the best technologies that has been developed in the blockchain space. But who's responsible then for picking winners over losers? Is it going to be the market? Is it going to be the people that want to build with the projects? Or are you going to rely on government and the SEC to make that determination? <laughs> or are you going to then, you know, allow ideology to make that determination? Why should it be ideology? If it's too expensive to mine Bitcoin, if it's too, if uh, the reward uh, it doesn't reflect the cost, then you're going to see people want to change. You and then this one here from uh, uh, Chris Crypto Swell says, "Dude, any does anybody remember how many Bitcoin maxis have been throwing rocks at us for liking XRP? Chris is throwing rocks back." Mm. And, All right. the, and then look at this one here. Think, speaking of throwing rocks. Bitcoin Maxis can throw them back too. Look at this. This is Hassan Alan, Alana, Alanazi says, Bitcoin Maxis plan to fund a campaign to burn the XRP escrow as a reaction to Chris Larson's comments <laughs> concerning proof of work. That's some funny stuff right there, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's like, hey. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is that's, you but, know. But if that was the case, I mean, honestly, Jeff, if, if they came after the escrow, the whole XRP community would be up in arms about, but meanwhile, Larson's like from a, I mean, there's not competition, but from another top 10 digital asset, former top three prior to lawsuit is, is going after the leader. It just looks self-serving. It looks just, it's, it's a very bad look. It's a bad, bad timing, you know, bad group. But Jungle is saying the only ones concerned about Bitcoin are people with no Bitcoin. <laughs> it's doing just fine. It is doing fine. I mean, it's, it's doing this great. Is, that's why people in the space, it's like, why wouldn't you own Bitcoin? <laughs> DJ Jarvis said, wait a minute. So Larson doesn't have any Bitcoin? That's a good one. Maybe he doesn't. Are you down with OTC? Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops.